kia team, my name's Ben. Let's talk the four quadrants of the abdomen. So when someone's describing pain and when we're palpating, it's nice to know what we're palpating on top of. So let's go through it. If we look, if we find the xiphoid process, which is the bottom of the sternum, and go down to the pubic symphysis, that's the line that draws straight through the center, and then horizontally we go across the umbilicus or the belly button. And then we label them the left and right upper and left and right lower quadrants. Okay, let's have a look at what's in each. So if we get rid of the lungs, in our right upper, you can see the big thing that sticks out. Here is our liver. And if we pull the liver off, we can see underneath that little bad boy there, that cutie, is our gallbladder. We can also see a little bit of our stomach is sticking in there and part of our transverse colon. And if we have right underneath, ticking through here, this is the kidney. All right, then if we come over and let's have a look at the left side. So again, we've got the rest of the liver and underneath here, we've got most of our stomach. And then underneath there, we've got our pancreas and underneath our pancreas, we've got our kidney as well. All right, then we also have our transverse colon coming through here and then the start of our descending. And then if we look on the lateral view, the other important organ we've got is our spleen, which is sitting right there, just posterior to the stomach and anterior to the kidneys. All right, so that's our right upper and left upper. If we move over and look at our right lower, has got a lot of our small intestine. We've got our, our colon, our ascending and transverse colon. And then if we take this off and have a look, we can see the appendix will be in here. Then if, we, if we're lucky enough to have one, we've got the uterus, the right ovary and the fallopian tube. And also, we've got our bladder and our right ureter. Then, on our left lower quadrant, again, we've got lots of small intestines. We've got our descending and sigmoid colon. If we have one, we've got our uterus and our ovary and fallopian tube. And our bladder and our ureter. So, those are our big things we're looking for in each region. All right, team. Happy studying.